I'm Keith Oldham. I'm uh, the uh, chair of the Children's Surgery Verification Program and medical director of the program. Um, uh, I'm the surgeon in chief at Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. Children's Surgery Verification Program was created with a really a very simple vision. The vision was that, that every child who received surgical care in the United States or North America or more broadly um, potentially would receive care in an environment that was matched to his or her individual need. Uh, the program uh, was developed because um, I think it, certainly for me as a practitioner uh, uh, who cared for children with surgical needs for many years and my colleagues had similar experiences where uh, we, we observed that children sometimes received care um, in an environment that really wasn't matched to their individual needs. Uh, people seek care, particularly here in the United States, uh, uh, for a host of different reasons. Uh, and depending on geography and local environment, uh, that may or may not fit the actual medical and surgical needs of the individual child. The task force was created, it was created actually from the pediatric surgery community, but the need is much broader than that. It's children's surgery and all, really all of the related disciplines. Um, but the opportunity came, I, I had the opportunity when I was the president of the American Pediatric Surgical Association to create the task force, and uh, we did, and, then, uh, and we have functioned now for, uh, uh, since uh, 2012, so we're about three and a half years into this. And uh, er early on, we sought the participation and uh, uh, advice and guidance from the college. It was clear that the American College of Surgeons has the, the history and the, uh, the ability to do that. This is bigger than any of the children's surgical specialty groups. It was necessary to involve many more people than just pediatric surgeons. Uh, 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 children's surgery is a team event. Uh, this is true of surgery broadly, but it's certainly true in children's surgery. Uh, contemporary uh, excellent care requires uh, anesthesia, anesthesiologists who are specifically trained neonatologists, critical care people, and it, it really requires the entire spectrum of uh, specialty trained and, and children's committed uh, individuals uh, to uh, provide uh, the best contemporary care. The American College of Surgeons is critical in this, and, and early on we sought uh, the involvement of the college and the leadership. Uh, one, of the, one of the early points we recognized, and actually the, if uh, used it almost as a uh, pathway for us uh, was the experience with the trauma verification program. This was driven decades ago by committed, passionate individuals who recognized a, a, a opportunity to do things better and it's been demonstrably successful. So with that in mind, uh, we uh, approached the college leadership. Dr. Hoyt has been, was involved very much with the trauma program and he's been involved with us really since the very start uh, and the, the other college staff, Dr. Coe and others. The, the college has successfully done this for more than a century now um, in different ways and uh, the college is the voice of American surgery and so I, I, I felt and I, my colleagues felt that this was a necessary thing. It was a, it was the right way for us to uh, uh, to uh, uh, have the program be uh, impactful uh, broadly. We, we don't know for sure what the impact of this will be, but we have already seen just after six pilot visits uh, that there are uh, uh, changes in uh, the institutions, uh, certainly in the pilot programs. Um, but in many institutions around the country, there are more than 80 institutions uh, that have expressed uh, interest in moving forward with this. So I, I, uh, I don't know how many institutions will participate uh, long term, but, but I do think um, that, that having children cared for in, the, in, in institutions and facilities with, uh, with resources matched their needs will, will demonstrably improve care at a population level. It may not be apparent at the level of an individual practitioner or even a single institution, but if you look at a population uh, and see that the, the, the care is provided with the right resources, I think we'll see that. We've actually already been able to see some evidence uh, of that going forward. I'm passionate about this. I've spent now more than 30 years in the practice of children's care, pediatric 
general and thoracic surgery care. And uh, I, I, come, I come back to the comment I made earlier. Um, I, I think that, that uh, speaking as a parent and a practitioner, uh, I, I always have tried to see that we provide the best care, and I think having um, uh, your children cared for, for with children with surgical needs cared for, is one of the most critical things that people do. Um, so I'm I'm committed because I think that this will will make a difference and see that kids uh, ultimately get better surgical care. Uh, the, the one additional comment I'd make about the program is that this has moved very rapidly. I, I've been fortunate to be in a position to play a role in that, but it, but it, it really has been a, the work of many, many people, uh, both uh, on, on the task force. People have volunteered enormous amounts of uh, time and energy and, and uh, experience to make this uh, come to fruition. And, and also to the college, the, 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 the leadership and the staff of the college could not have been more supportive and helpful. So uh, I, I'm grateful for all of that and for the opportunity personally to be involved.